Hey, what is going on my fellow Guardians, MFK Clicks here, and welcome back to another Daily Destiny video. What I have for you guys today is the entire skill tree for the Sunbreaker Titan subclass. Now, I do want to give credit where it's due, this was leaked on Reddit, so I have a link to the original Reddit post down in the description below. Also, keep in mind, any information you guys see on here can be changed by Bungie at any given time, so this might not be the final product when the Taken King is released, but this is what we have right now. So anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into this subclass. So, for the grenades, we have the Fusion Grenade, same as the Sunsinger Warlock. We have the Match Grenade. Grenade Explosion sends forward a burning line of fire along the ground. And then the Incendiary Grenade, which is the same exact grenade that the Gunslinger Hunter has. Moving on to the jumps, nothing here has changed, all the same Titan jumps that you have in the Striker and Defender classes. Moving on to the Super Perks, we have the Hammer of Soul, summon a flaming hammer and wreak destruction upon your enemies. High Noon, the higher your health, the more hammers you can throw and the bigger their impact. Sun Charge, press R1 to hurl yourself forward, crushing enemies that are close. And then Conflagration, ignite the world creating sunspots where your Hammer of Soul impacts. That sounds really awesome. I like that they're adding variety. You can do up close with it. You can do range. Really like that they're mixing things up with the subclass. Moving on to melee, we have Sunstrike. Ignite your enemies with a heavy strike. I wonder if this is going to be kind of similar to Shoulder Charge. I really like the Shoulder Charge. I would like to see it make somewhat of an appearance within the subclass. Just have to wait and see exactly how this works. Moving on, we have Melting Point. Burn away your target's defenses. Targets take more damage from both you and your allies. Fulminator, your Sunstrike melee releases a solar explosion on hit, igniting enemies within the blast. Kills create a sunspot around you. And then Stoke the Forge, natively reduce the cooldown of your Sunstrike melee. Getting a killing blow with Sunstrike instantly recharges it. Moving on to the first passive perks we have. We have Fleet Fire, enemies brought down by your fire grant you bonus agility and reload speed for a short time. Stacks up to three times. Next we have Tempering, Grenade and Melee abilities cool down significantly faster when the Hammer of Soul is fully charged. And then Wreathed in Flames, Hammer of Soul lasts longer and you gain an overshield while standing near a sunspot. Moving on to the passive set of perks we have at the very end of the skill tree. We have Flame Seeker, your Hammer of Soul will alter its flight path to seek out your enemies. Cauterize, enemies brought down by your fire regenerate your health, and then wildfire, enemies brought down by your hammer explode, damaging and catching over nearby enemies on fire. So I really like they're adding a little bit of diversity with this subclass, you can go ranged, you can go up close, and I really like the different fire elements within it, like you can catch enemies on fire, you can make them explode and catch on fire. I really like this subclass, I really can't wait to start playing as my titan, definitely looking forward to this, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below but anyways guys if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to smash that like subscribe for daily destiny content i do want to thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys later